Now we discuss about speed and velocity. Speed versus velocity. Right. So as you know that in physics, if you want to say anything, if you want to express anything, it should be measurable. And physics promise you that whatever the experiences you have, whatever the emotions you have, it can be measurable in physics. Take an example. Suppose that you said that I am faster than. Uh, oh, repeat. Suppose, think that you told your friend, I am faster than you. Then he said that, how how could you say that you are faster than me? Then you will say that I am. I can ride my. I can. Sorry. Repeat. Uh, then you can say that I can uh, drive my bike more speed than you. If you see this, if you uh, listen this statement, I use the word called speed. So speed is a measurable physical quantity for the fastness of any vehicle or any object. So now I will tell you about the definition and how we use in physics speed and velocity. So speed in physics defined as distance by time as distance is scalar quantity time is a scalar quantity speed is also a scalar quantity so it is scalar remember it is having it is having only magnitude now if i represent the speed with symbol v and distance symbol s time symbol t then we got a formula v equal to s by t now coming to velocity velocity defined as displacement by time now if you see this one displacement is a vector quantity so velocity is also vector quantity vector that means you should tell magnitude and direction now again velocity first letter is v so i'm using the same symbol don't confuse same symbol using velocity v and displacement distance both magnitude by same so i can use same symbol s by t so again the same formula v equal to s by t so it's very simple for you to remember formula because the formula is same for both speed and velocity now quickly i will tell you the units of speed and velocity for speed and velocity both have the same cgs unit same si unit and cgs unit is see this formula displacement by time displacement cgs unit is centimeter time unit is second so i can say centimeter per second and in si system displacement or distance the unit is meter and time is again second so meter per second so si unit is meter per second example one suppose a car travel a distance of five kilometers in time six seconds then speed of the car is how much the speed of the car is the distance by time so distance is five kilometers by time is six seconds now whenever you say you can say five by six kilometers per second or else kilo means thousand so you can say five thousand by six meters per second and if you want you can simplify that fraction now what is velocity of the car Now you guess. Surprising thing is that same answer. 5000 by 6 meters per second. But why? Because here velocity displacement by time. Now here the distance displacement both are same. 5 kilometers because moving the same direction. As the distance displacement both are same. Here speed, velocity both have the same magnitudes. 500 by 6 meters per second. 500 by 6 meters per second. But yeah. Repeat. Sorry, sorry. Repeat. 5000 by 6 meters per second, 5000 by 6 meters per second. But one thing I have missed. 
Can you tell me what? Velocity is a vector. You have to tell the direction. And if C, the direction is towards east. Now we go for second example. Example 2. <clears throat> now, a car started from point A, goes to point B, which is at a distance of uh, 6 kilometers and then it turns and come back to point A and this is having distance of again 6 kilometers. Now from A to B the time taken from A to B and from B to A the time taken T equals to say 10 seconds. Now speed of the car equals to yeah you know that speed of the car is nothing but distance by time but here the distance is a to b and b to a total distance you have to take so 6 km plus 6 km by 10 so it is nothing but 12000 meters by 10 seconds so 0 0 is cancelled so it is 1200 meters per second speed of the car now now here the turning point velocity of the car displacement by time see this one displacement means i told you that the shortest distance between initial and final point and here initial point is a and the final point is also a therefore initial means final is zero in another way you can say a to b and b to a means something but minus b to a repeat a to b plus b to a but b a is opposite to a b so i can write a b minus a b this is what the total displacement by time time is 10 seconds 10 seconds and the answer is 0 meters per second see that we got answer 0 why because velocity depends upon the directions this is vector so a b direction is opposite to b a direction so total displacement is 0 and the velocity is also 0 cut okay so i Zero second. So velocity depends upon the direction. A B direction is opposite to B A direction. So in the hence the displacement is zero and so velocity is also zero. Now the present sir. Zero meters per second they Zero meters per second. So here velocity is zero meters per second because a B displacement is opposite to B A displacement and so displacement is 0 and hence velocity is 0.